What is going on guys, it's Toby here, and today we're going to the track with Parker and Jay, so we gotta make a little bit of a road trip. I also have to pick up Trey, my friend, you guys know him with the Subi, and yeah, we got a lot going on, but basically I got these Forge Star D5 bead locks, actually not the bead locks, the front runners, for my bead locks, and as you can see, you can see them right here real quick. Anyways, I'm gonna hop in the car and we gotta get headed to Georgia because we're racing at South Georgia Motorsports Park. I still gotta put that spoiler on too, do that in a whole separate vlog, but I will catch you guys once we pick up Trey and get on the way to meeting up with Parker and Jay. Stop crappy weather again, but I don't even know if I'm gonna make it to Trey's house because I have like 30 range or 30 miles of freaking E85, that's my range. And like literally he lives 30 miles away. So we're gonna be chancing it here, but I told him to go get me some E85 and that I would pay for it. So he has it ready there at his house and jugs. We just have to make it to his house, which is gonna be a problem, but we might make it. Let me turn the car on and see the range again. I'm gonna use Jay's drag pack at the track because he blew up his clutch, like the defective clutch from LPX. He just did a pull and the clutch literally blew up. So I don't know what's up with that. Hopefully we don't have any issues. I don't break anything. I don't wanna jinx it, but I also wanna have fun. You know, it would suck if I got there and blew up an axle and then didn't get to make another pass or blew up the trends or something. We're heading for a 10-1 though. That's what I'm gonna try and run today or anything in the 10s actually, that would be fantastic. Let's see my range. Oh boy, we are not gonna make it to Trey's. We're literally not gonna make it. So I don't know what to do. I'm gonna call him and tell him that he has to meet me like halfway. It's such a waste of time though. We don't really have that much time. Uh, I should have planned this a little bit better, and I wish there was the 85 in Gainesville. Hey, Trey is gonna rescue me if I run out of gas, so I have nothing to worry about. He'll come with the 10 gallons of E85. So if I get down to like five miles to eat, and I'm still not out of this house, which is going to freaking happen because we have to go 36 miles, I only have 23 to empty, I'm gonna call him, he's gonna come fill me up, and we'll be on the way to the track. I made it to Trey's, but I had to switch it back to 93. Trey, what are you doing? Uh, filling your car with 10 gallons of E85 that went got earlier. Yeah, didn't you just pour it all over the side of the car? No. I, no? no? Not no. at all? <laughs> That's like Ocala for me. I should have gone to Ocala yesterday. I don't have time. I get mine when I'm on the way home from work. Because I drive 30 minutes to work. They're going to roast me for being late. <laughs> is that Toby making Is that Toby making You guys aren't going to roast me for being late? Oh, no, oh yeah. What's up, It's taking so long to get here. How are you doing? Oh, the Stangry lights? Of course. I knew this was there. I knew this was there. No, I got here and I was like, Jay, there is this little switch right here. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a kill switch that just ruins wait. everything. No, wait, this was on here the whole time? Yeah. What, the, the switch? Yes, and I was like, I don't you know. You never what, knew about it? I was it? like, I don't know what that does, but if it messes something up, I would rather you do it. And he called me and he was like, you're an idiot. <laughs> Sounds like Jay. Now Parker pulled it to me, he's like... Nice, Parker. It's real nice. <laughs> Yo, Corey, that dash looks crazy, bro. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I heard he asked him about it. <laughs> and, uh... That's still the stock diffuser with, like, a kit on it? Oh, that's sick. Looks really good. Toby's got the drag packs on. And now it's time to do the weight reduction. <laughs> <laughs> gotta take everything out of the trunk, you know, living, my 900 pounds. Living in his trunk in the past few years. <laughs> yeah. Exhaust, <laughs> oil. <laughs> and fast for seat. We're all rolling out now, all the boys. Get the f***ing crazy partner's car looks. Like, it just looks like a menace without that bumper. Without the bumper, it looks wild. Yeah, for real. I gotta zoom in on that. How freaking nasty it's the power button. Thing looks crazy. <laughs> oh my god, bro. That car looks nuts. Got some rollers on the way, Trey.
Joanna, and since I don't have all this stuff in the back of the car, bro, I blew the tires off so bad. Parker has the video. You can probably see the whole back end, like, all over the road. But, like, we were all over the road, right, Trey? All over the road. <laughs> yeah, bro. I want the weight back in the back of the car so I actually hook because that was that was bad. Like we were blowing them off, and we're on Mickey Thompson Street R's. Yes. <laughs> in terrified. third gear, bro. Trey was terrified. It's my first hit ever in your car. He was shaking. He was like, <laughs> literally just <laughs> himself when I gave him a hit. Bro, I literally almost had a heart attack. I, think they, I like we haven't done a hit in it since you like been coming over to the garage and stuff. Yeah. First hit in it. My God, <laughs> I love it. Oh my you Lord. You grab the freaking... Oh yeah, I was death gripping this thing. I was like full, full body lock. <laughs> Flutter? Yeah, I've never heard no, of it. No, it sounds sick. That wait, wait, is this, the, is this the X you know big red what? I now have the okay, really, really tiny turn. blow off valve. <laughs> hey, the turbo one is full up. Sounds just like nasty. Three, yeah, it does. It's like... Oh, no, no. You need to hear it from that side. Really? Man, that's kind of crazy, bro. Wow. <laughs> got a full neighborhood full of Mustangs and an E36, is that? That thing's clean. I don't know if it's an E36. Yeah, That's it what the body like style looks like to me. <laughs> Look, completely good at all. Look at that thing, bro. Hey. Jesus. <laughs> Man, got the bucket seat. Pulled up to the track, but I got the notification from my live stream of the S650 reveal that Stang Mode commented on it. So that's pretty cool. He was actually there. If you're watching this, bro, we got to collab on something real quick. How many subs? Uh, he is a decent almost, amount. Almost 160. Yeah, bro. We, we got to collab and do something, bro. So let me know. Holler at your boy. Great. Out of all the cars here, which is your favorite? Or the Parkers. <laughs> yeah. I really like Corey's, though. Parkers? It's like OEM Plus, bro. Parker's turbo setup just looks insane. Yeah, you know, it's, mean, it's mean. I have a turbo, he's got a turbo, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Subi boy meets a, a Mustang turbo owner. <laughs> I love that thing, and I love this too. After after the, the hit in this, I <laughs> fell more in love. I didn't love it enough. enough. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't think it was that fast. I didn't know like the potential of how fast it could be, because we've always had it on 93 at, in the garage. And, and I never it, took you for a hit either. Yeah, I never had a hit in it. Because <laughs> I was having problems. So now that he actually got a hit, he was like, Bro, I almost had a heart attack, I swear. <laughs> But I forgot the helmet to go, so uh, <laughs> uh, I think Parker has to go first and then I can go. That was a big wolf, big mess up move. I don't even own a helmet actually. Took brought one from the lake. <laughs> That's true. What about the carbon fiber being on the, the priority list over a helmet? Helmet, transmission, <laughs> motor. Yeah, but on a trans brake, that'll be a little. Well, you're only leaving on the Are you pounds, using the trans brake today? Yeah. Yeah. Jay's like, yeah, I'm about to cash out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that is gonna break, it's gonna break. Tell him to watch out. Hey, can y'all move over a little bit? I want to get the Mach 1 bumper, that's what I want to get. You think it'll fit? Uh, I don't know, try it. I mean... What size is it? Uh, I think it's a medium. Oh, it's the best coaching ever. How how do how exactly do you need to do this, Toby? Right, so we're a little scared of going into third, so we're going to go first. Okay. I like it. I like it. Are we going now? Let's go. Let's do it. I got it. Alright, let's go. Okay, right there, Trey. Not, not this one, not the Durango. Oh, the yeah. Challenger? Yeah, the Challenger, that's my boy. I'm kind of nervous, but actually I got it too. I'm not that nervous. I don't think I have anything to be nervous about. I think, I think we're gonna do great. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I'm scared about is the launch and breaking stuff, but I'm gonna go 3,300. You're gonna do 3,300 on the first yeah, one? Yeah, on the first one. That's what Jay said. He said you should be good on the bias ply tires. Just, just send it. So it's not worth it to you. No. Yeah. <laughs> Tons of cars out here. My favorite car here is the 
seven. And the uh, what's it called? Robert Blue. Uh, it's cold, bro. Is that is that standard? <laughs> bro, I don't have enough satellite for the dragon. It's like I can't hear you. We'll, we'll just go to Mexico after. I don't know if I'll be able to. You will. You'll this be fine. This is either gonna go really, really well. Really good or really, really, really bad. You'll be good, bud. We'll count them we'll go to Mexico. Right. But uh, I'm probably gonna end up filming off to the right because I know he's gonna send the shit out of it on this one. <laughs> uh, line up you deserve. Where's Kobe? 125. 125. I'm having a mini heart attack. I, I, was, I, at looked, like I was at 166 earlier at his pool. So pre race thoughts. He's nervous. <laughs> pre race thoughts. Nervous. I'm naked. <laughs> Ran a 9.8 and Toby ran either a 10 or a 12. I couldn't see, but he let off of it towards the end. So we'll see, we'll see why here in a minute. I toasted the clutch. Like, I toasted the clutch. Was it still able to shit off lane? Right lane, 15, 27. There's no way no far right home. I gotta be like, I had such a freaking good first and second, and then the car, like, when I hit third, it died. I seen the smoke. Smell it? I smelled it, but I saw white smoke coming from the Oh, really? Yeah. That's not the motor, right? The clutch. It's a clutch? That was, after smelling it, that was like. I blew my clutch up? Yeah, I think you just smoked the piss out of it. But I didn't even slip it for that long. It might have slipped on top. 
thousand. Is it an LPX? Oh, yeah, 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 we're going on top. I can hear yeah, that. Yeah, when I hit third, 5,000 RPM, it slipped. Yeah. Is it LPX or LPX? LPX, LPX HD. HD. Yeah, it's only rated for 800 horse and it was huge. <laughs> Because she was going and then I heard da -da 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 -da. Bro, I, was, I was like, what I was like, like, bro. Yeah. And then I hit third gear and it was yeah. like, Brrr. and I'm like, what the? I thought I blew the motor up, so I looked down at the oil pressure. I was like, oh no. We're out of here. So I'm gonna test out and see if my car can still do a pull. And if the clutch is slipping, obviously I won't continue because I need to go home. But Parker and I want to race. He's gonna he's gonna work me, but we'll do it anyways. Yeah. I'm gonna test and see if the clutch is slipping. Ready? Yep, let's do it. We did it slip. No slip? No. Oh. You have to bleed that one though. <laughs> Do you need flat. that? I wouldn't touch that, it, Parker. It might be flat, but there's no hole in it. I'm not giving you a discount. You son of a <laughs> It still functions. It just has- He knows what he got. It has a- It has a- Here. <laughs> he knows what Here's he has. Here's a band-aid. This don't, is getting really hot. Where do you want me him. to put this? Uh, on the ground. ground. You see how it's sheared? Bro, it's completely sheared. On the it's, bottom, it's, yes. It's slid on the ground. Yeah, Here's at like 60 away. miles an hour. You're in a Gen 3 now? Huh? You have a Gen 3 now? No, I have my Gen 2. No, I have the Gen 2 that you know. Uh, Before I ever met you guys, I had a 50. Bro, what? Anniversary. I just kicked this on the side of the highway. No. <laughs> Leave that there, bro. I don't want that. <laughs> Alright, well, we got his wastegate. Let's go. <laughs> wastegate secured right here. We got it. Let me see it, Trey. This thing is blazing hot, so I'm holding it with a Mustang t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> It's so hot! <laughs> I start the car, it goes back to one. Bro said I raced you in, on setting one in Sally and yeah. barely lost. It's weird. Toby, hey. my deep. I'll let one. you say that it was in Boost Group 3. Hey, yo. You hey, hey, yo. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Talking about, we're gonna bro. test our luck again. I don't know about that. 
So I'll hit it, I'll hit it from third. This is not going to be like a powerful hit. It'll just show you kind of how it builds what up it the boost. Like. So like you'll hit it and you'll hear the turbo start. Then you'll hear it actually get into boost. So this shouldn't, this isn't going to hit hard like Torquey. That's exactly what I did at the strip. And ran a 9.8. And ran a 9.8. What's your 60 to 130 time? Five, four. Did you hear that? Yeah, that, that's weird. Five, four, five, five six. Four? Bro, we'll, five, four, Bro, we'll put five, the six. 60 to 130 clip of his pass. That's insanely fast. That's, that's, why I was, that's why I was confused when we did our race. Well, yeah, because you were like, on setting one. You were missing out on, what, well, seven pounds I learned, of boost? I learned something new today. Every time I start the car, it resets the boost controller back to group one. So I restarted the car right when you just got in, when we just started it, and it was in three whenever I parked it, and I had to go put it back into three. So basically, I beat him by half a car in, on setting one. But I was also in third, so I was bogged out. Should have been in second, but I didn't want to drop low on the stupid bias plies, bro. It sways like crazy. <laughs> New thumbnail. New, uh, every single that'll be the new YouTube title. <laughs> every Barker time I'm here haunts Velocity late, Motorsports. Every time I hear working late, all I hear is a. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all you hear is oh. <laughs> You're going to see the jack stand just start to wiggle. Oh. <laughs> we actually ended up leaving Georgia, so we're on the way back. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. But I really wish I could have finished out that pass, boys. I wish the clutch didn't burn up like that. I mean, I didn't really slip it that much, and the launch was okay. I just let off the gas, like, after I launched. The launch was actually pretty good, so I let off the gas. Then I went back in it, banged first to second. You guys probably saw that in the video. Bang second to third, and then mid-third gear, the clutch roasted. And when it roasted, I saw, like, a cloud of smoke go out the rear view mirror, and I freaked out. You can see it on the draggy video and the GoPro. I'm like, and I was looking at the oil pressure like crazy because I thought I blew the motor, but... Yeah, I had a ton of fun. I mean, is the clutch really that roasted though if I went on the highway after it cooled off and did some pulls with Parker? I don't know. Probably won't last too long. I'll probably have to get a new one. But we're going to conclude the video. I'm going to get home at like 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. And I have an exam for school and a bunch of assignments. So that's going to be interesting. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.